Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Full Moon version. Last episode, we caught a Volcanion and a Keldeo. Pretty action-packed episode and we went the wrong way as well. Also solved this really big puzzle for the gym leader which looked like it was going the right way, but it's not. We have to go down. This is the right way to go. And we should find uh, Chan and some Team Lightning people. There we go. What is going on here? Great, you're here. Yep, sorry I took my time, but I found Keldeo, so doesn't really matter. <laughs> Give us a hand, will you? Let's show these a-holes what we have in store for them. You're committing a serious crime against everyone in the security station. Hell, oh, we don't care. Shut up and fight us. These crimes will be punished and your position as gym leaders will be taken away. Yeah, but we're not going to lose, though. Got Volcano on my team now, so I ain't losing any battle. Level 58. This should be fairly easy. Let's go for a few flamethrowers. Hopefully burn it, because these things can be pretty dangerous, especially when they go for sword stance. That's a little scary. Oh, this might hurt a lot. Oh, 9 HP. Woohoo! Luckily, one more flamethrower will finish it off. Buffalo ants are a uh, pretty scary Pokemon. Especially when they go for sword stance. Alright, we've got Rhyhorn. We better switch out for this. Uh, let's go, Kippers. So, I was trying to think who I should replace with Keldeo because I kind of wanted Keldeo on the team, but I couldn't decide. If anything, I was going to go for Latias, but I kind of like Mega Latias on the team. So I left my team as it is. Keep Volcanion, obviously, because Volcanion... I haven't ever ever used one. I've got one um, from the code I got recently, but... I'm not going to play X and Y or Mega Ground Sapphire again. So that Volcanion is going to be sitting there until I can trade it to Sun and Moon in January. Retreat! Retreat! Hooray! You cleared the path for us. Thank you a million times. Here, this is a reward. Got a max revive. Hey! Thank you. Is that Team Shadow member down there? I think it is. I'll go speak to him in a second. Wonder what they're up to this time. Yeah, I'm quite curious to what we'll stumble upon next. Let's not waste time. I feel like they're not going to sit on their asses, waiting for us to execute their plans. You're right. Let's split up. I'll search the academy. Uh, Arida can take Route 111 and Chan, you can take Veget Forest. Those are all areas up ahead and I don't feel like they would be blocking off the routes here if they were up to something in La Chaos City. What about my home, Fling Cove? Oh, Team Shadow Grunt, there you go. I was about to say, I swear there's Team Shadow Grunt. <laughs> I can assure you, they are not there. How can you know that? We know that because our people have reported the Fling Cave is blocked off completely. And they also reported the principal and all students to, of the academy are missing. The academy is abandoned, they said. But, but my, my brother's disappeared too then. Your bro? Yeah, I have a brother. His name is uh, Lumos. Haven't mum and dad told you about him when we were in a uh, Coloria City? No, they haven't, but I remember vaguely in the past. Yeah, anyway, he's still studying at La Chaos Academy. But I've got to go there. Need to find him. Agreed. We will search our places just in case they are also at Vegite Forest or Route 511. Thanks a lot, guys. Come on, we're off. See you at the Academy, Luna. We've always got your back. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your guys' help. I like the uh, Team Shadow. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's make our way to the academy. Ooh, what is going on here? Haha, <laughs> alright then. Yeah, what are you saying? Just same thing, back. So what Pokemon can we find around here? Just Shelmets, level 55, not bad. We have cut, so we can go through here, right? That little tree. Let's quickly pop a repel. Uh, one repel, that'll do for now, I guess. I forgot I had the Megastone for, uh... Salamence. Oh, poor thing, are you lost? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Miss? Who let you through? I let myself through when I cut down the tree, but... Oh well. Can I fight you? Please, miss, turn back. This route is... Oh my god, what did that team uh, lightning guy come behind me? Oh my god, that just freaked me out. Just like, walk behind me like, yo, trapped you now. Psst, Lou, over here. Hey, what up? I was walking down the road when I suddenly realized you can use HMO4 strength outside of battle. Since I keep HMO1 cut, surf, and strength, I thought I'd wait here to give you strength. So here you go. Hey, we've got strength. Sweet. This comes uh, in just at the right time, because I heard from Chan, you've lived a long time in uh, Apostolips Cave. But Apostolips Cave is really dangerous with a lot of boulders everywhere. Oh yeah, I remember. Exactly, this is why you need strength. Now you can move boulders, which means you can pick up some supplies in case you left some behind. Of course. I have to head all the way to Apostolips Cave again. Thanks. I'll see, but aren't you concerned? About what? 
Are the Pokemon League banning you from your position? Are you scared of me? They ain't taking my gym from me. Okay. <laughs> oh, and before I forget. What's happening back at uh, Solaris City? Fivis forgot to give you the TM you received from his uh, gym battle. That's why he'd ask me. Area Lace, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Thanks a lot, this might come in handy. Anyways, I'm going to search the area some more. Let's hope Chan discovers something about those uh, contraptions in Vegite Forest. I'll probably kick some lightning asses. See ya. Bye, Ari. So, we can potentially head back to where we started the game off. Um, I know when I caught Keldia, I went down to the beach and there was like, it was a dead end, I couldn't go that way. And there was my home, to, like, cave, I guess my house, my home in the cave, but I couldn't go there because of strength. And now we can always uh, head back, but let's look around here first, see what we can find. Tyranta vs. Yamega, Yamega, well, Tyranta's gonna win. Spirit Tomb vs. Tropius, so I'd probably say Spirit Tomb. War Rain vs. Uh, Tangrowth, ooh. Pins you can get the first attack. Uh, oh, wait, what? Eee, Verizian. Well, I thought you and your friends would always stick together. Ah, you have a task? I see. Alright, let's battle then. Alright, last episode we got Keldeo, and this episode we're going to try and get Verizian. Probably won't be able to do it because... I feel like I'm going to kill it with this, don't kill it. Nice. Alright, we should go into Sceptile. We should be alright. Let's try and get this with some Ultra Balls. We have 44 Ultra Balls. But usually catching Pokemon is not the easiest thing in the world for me. So if I can get this, great. If I can't, then it sucks, but I'm not too disappointed. Because we've got Keldeo. We've got the best one. Well, in my opinion, I like Keldeo the most. Though I do not like him in the film. I don't know about I don't know what it is, but I do not like it when Pokemon speak. The only Pokemon in my mind that can speak English, well speak human, is Mewtwo. And Meowth. Only two Pokemon in my opinion that should be able to do it. Meowth because Meowth's always been able to do it and then Mewtwo because Mewtwo just sounds so cool in the movie. Oh, I just got me excited as well. I've got the um, Collect Edition Blu-ray for uh, Pokemon Movie 1, 2 and 3 coming next month. It gets released then. Cannot wait to rewatch the uh, the free films in like high definition. It's going to be so nice. Oh, I'm getting well excited. I feel like this version is going to probably take me out. I'm going to have to run back and heal up after. Oh wait, you got health back? Oh god. So dead. Four times effective. Ooh. Oh, Rocky Helmet! Oh. <laughs> wow, that sucks. I killed Verizian. Wait, isn't that... Isn't that Vickervolt? The new... It is! It's the new, uh... 7th Gen Pokemon just... Flying around. Oh, that's so awesome! Oh, I want one. <laughs> that's really cool. I do have Rock Smash, don't I? Yeah. I'm gonna quickly go heal up and I'll be back here in a second. Oh my god, I want a Vicar Vault so bad. Alright, we are back nice and healthy. Let's speak to this Team Shadow member. Oh, hello there, Luna. I'm spying on them. We really need to prevent them from ex executing their plans. Yes, you do. Let's nice, quickly go for Rock Smash. So that's really cool. Like, when we saw Litten last episode, or not last episode, like the last uh, update for this game, I was like, oh my god, that's so awesome. Hopefully we can see some more like 7th gen Pokemon and that's exactly what we got. Yeah, this isn't your business, kid. This is all of my businesses. Need to see my brother. Too bad for you, we can't let you through. Uh, persist. You really have to make our job difficult, don't you? Alright, so let's go for... Let's switch Arcanine out. Go into Volcanion. So I feel like Azumarill might have like maybe a water type move on Arcanine. And then we're Mega Evolve and Scold the Solrock. That should do. So good. Ah, oh, Rock Slide. Okay, that's fine. Didn't do too much damage. And Kipper's Flinch. That's fantastic. And play rough. That was not a water time move. And a critical hit. Just <laughs> not the best first turn, i got to say. Uh, let's scold and then uh, just scold again. Just in case it lives. No, it doesn't. Sweet. Alright, never scold. 
Oh god, and just drop stuff on the floor, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, let's go... Scold and... Break... Break! We can burn that stout land, that'd be fantastic, or finish it off with a break break. Oh, I live at like 1 HP! That is redonkulous! Uh, let's give him a scold and break break the Azumarill. I won't do much damage, but I mean, it's something. The Water Fairy type is just not good for me at all right now. I could go into a uh, Sceptile and Leaf Blade it. But, depends what her second Pokemon's gonna be. Lapras, okay, so what we'll do is we'll Body Slam Azumarill and we're gonna Brick Break Lapras. That's like the Paralysis, and that's exactly what we got. Hydro Pump's gonna come in, it's gonna kill us though, unfortunately, but we have Max Revives, we have 100 normal Revives, so. Losing Pokemon is not a problem. Also, there's a gate. Passing like every like kind of gate section, there's a um, a healer machine, so it's all good. And then we're Leaf Blade. So we can buy the Lapras, and then Azumarill's gonna live the Body Slam, but when he like gets paralyzed. Nice. Exactly what I wanted. And now we just proceed to destroy. Haha, <laughs> critical hit. Not like it matters at all. All that lovely XP. Mandibuzz, uh, let's go for a Scold, and then we're gonna go for a Slam. Come on and slam, and miss your attack. That's really great, thank you. <laughs> let's try this again. And you're gonna miss again. This Sceptile does not want to slam this uh, Mandibuzz at all. But at least uh, Volcanion got the burn. I should really maybe teach uh, Volcanion some TMs. I'm pretty sure we should have like maybe like Flamethrower or something like that. It's been a while since I actually looked at them. So we'll do that in a second. Alright. Oh, still more Pokemon. This guy's like never ending Pokemon. Hey, we landed a slam. Not that I did too much damage, but I mean, still good. Ooh, nice. Oh, you live like 1 HP? Oh my goodness, look how much HP he's got. It's literally 1 HP. That's fine. Oh, can I can come in and finish it off. It looks like I might have to do a little bit of training as well. Like, we are like two levels under leveled. Just nothing at all. Really isn't. It'll take me like 20 minutes to, uh, to get one to level 60. Hmm. Damn, right, alright, let's go inside. Damn, we're out of here. I thought it was a gate next, but it's not. It was a uh, forest, so let me quickly heal up then. Got all these revives and potions we can use. Let's go for the supers. Alright, I'm going to see what we can teach Volcanion as well. So, we have... Flamethrower. That'd be great. Uh, let's go... Weather Ball. I hope in Sun and Moon we get some more, like, unique typings, like Volcanion was the first Fire Water. Get some more stuff like that. Can I learn Ice Beam? That'd be pretty cool. Doubt it can, but... No. That'd be pretty... Awesome, I did not want to go out that way. Okay, cool. So, whoa, what is going on here? Got like a three team uh, Shadow members against one team Lightning with a Pyro. Excuse me, coming through. Do not attack for a second. Got some like ice kit. Wait, we've been here before, haven't we? Whoa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're near the academy. I know exactly where we are now. I remember this. There's the cave. We're going inside the cave or heading to the academy. I assume the academy, but let me quickly look up here. Make sure there's no team members in here. I think. No, either we came through here before, or that's a place we couldn't go before because of strength. I'm pretty sure we came out of there. 
It's been such a long time, like, I think a good five months since we started this game. We need to go to the academy. Everyone's fighting Team Lightning right now, and how do I get into the academy? That is the question. What is down here? Hey, psst, you. I'm the sensei of the academy. You're not in Team Lightning, are you? Uh, no, I'm not. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, of course. The security station arrived here a long time ago. They were supposed to protect the academy, but little did we know. It was all an act. The security station turned out to be Team Lightning. Hate to break your beliefs, but the security station doesn't even exist. Team Lightning, security station, they're all the same people. I wonder what gave it away, was it the uh, the big bright yellow uniforms? <laughs> so you're saying there has never been a security station? Exactly. Team Lightning disguised themselves as a security station. And all inhabitants of Avia believe the lies Team Lightning tells them. Including us. Wow. I can't believe this. All this time, Team Lightning was among us. Okay, but aside from that, it doesn't matter. Let's show these traitors what it means to betray the Academy. Full of chaos. For Avia. Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's talk to some Team Shadow members. Commander Luna, hey. Yes, you shall heal my Pokemon, that is fantastic. Oh, you look hurt. You alright? I can't, I'm so tired. Can we fight this guy? Yeah. No one will step, your days are over. Hmm, I think my days are just beginning. Got four Pokemon and Espeon. Sweet. Right, if we can beat all four of these Pokemon with uh, Arcanine, we might be able to get level, level like 59 at least. Got the flinch, nice. As long as we stay healthy. Give me the flinch again, give me the flinch again, give me the flinch again. Ah, oh, damn. One more bite. Oh, and we'll draw Espeon. Oh, I don't have static. We don't have static. Okay, we're good. Let's go flamethrower. Get some good damage. I think we could probably sweep this guy with Arcanine. I think we can definitely get level 59 if we beat every all this Pokemon. And that's an easy with flamethrower. I should die in one hit. Or just live. I cannot wait to see a Alolan Executor. That's gonna be so fun. Like Sun and Moon, I'm gonna get I'm really annoyed that so far, like, the six Pokemon I want on my team, I know what I want already. But there's so many other Pokemon I wanna try. But I know that what's gonna happen is I'm probably just gonna focus on I'm gonna catch every Pokemon I see regardless, but. I know when I see the Pokemon I want to use on my team, I'm just going to use that and not use like a Lone Executor, which I kind of want to use. Lone Marowak looks pretty cool. But I mean, if you see my banner, my, my YouTube banner, which is a temporary one right now, it's up there just for like reference of what I want to get done. But that is the team I'm going to have and oh my god, my team's going to be so good. It could change though, the team could change with announcements coming and if the one rumor is true about Lone Arcanine, you better believe Ash Grunge is gone. I mean, I love Ash Greninja, I really do, I like Plush of it and everything. This Ash Greninja looks... Like, I love Greninja. Greninja, easily one of my favorite Pokemon as well. But the, the, the design of Ash Greninja is just... Beautiful, it really is. And, uh, I love it, I want it on the team, obviously. Let's go heal up. But, I mean, a Water Arcanine, I can't say no to that. 100% gonna have that on team. Uh, let's turn off that. Can't go that way, screw around here. And some more battles. Why are you always in our way? Because I'm trying to stop you from doing bad things. I think it was kind of clear, wasn't it? Alright. So Vaporeon, we've got to switch out. Level 60. Let's uh, go into Governor. Alright, so let's go for a nice Leaf Blade. Should take that out and hopefully one hit. Two hits, that's fine. Do you know what I miss? I think it was uh, Black 2 that had this Vaporeon that could take like three Thunderbolts. It was so good. Like the special defense was amazing. It was such good like good Pokemon to use in like playthroughs. Man, I miss my uh, Vaporeon. So nice. The Garbodor, let's go into Latias, Megravolt, and go for a nice psychic, and this thing should be dead. Alright, cool. 
Go apologize if you can hear that slight humming sound. I don't think you can, because every time I say this and I hear it back, you'd never hear it, which is great, but uh, the washing machine decides to just go on, which is annoying, and it's a bit broken, so sometimes it makes this really bad rumbling noise, and then it leaks everywhere, so that's that's kind of cool. Kind of great ball. Fantastic. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, hi. Hey, Commander Luna. Ilya is around here. Not sure what they're up to, but it... <coughs> I'm not sure what they're up to, but he's not alone. Thank you, Grunt. <laughs> Love the fact that call him Grunt. Wait, what? Is that a Team Lightning member on his back running around? I think it is. <laughs> I guess we should go stop him and see what he's got to say. Rod's on level 62. He only has one Pokemon, so I mean, that's fine. Damn, we need to grow a few levels. Psychic, we should live that easy. One more Fire Fang. Sorry, yeah, Flamethrower. And that thing is gone. I also have a text message uh, to pick up my 20th anniversary Keldeo plush, which uh, I put it from Toys R Us. I mean, getting these uh, plushes was so hard. I don't know if you guys have been collecting anything for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. I've been getting the uh, TCG sets and the plushes. Literally, I got the new plush. I thought, oh, it looks really cool. I'm going to get it because uh, I thought that was it. And I found out there was two Pikachu ones and there's a plush for every single mythical Pokemon. And I thought, okay, you know what? Oh, Zorak, nice. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to collect these because I can't just have one. Like, it's really annoying. Whenever I buy one thing I find as a collection, I have to get every single one. Otherwise, like, it's like, I don't know, I just feel this... Like, I just feel really weird about it. It's, it's really annoying. But, uh, <laughs> oh, man, like... They've been exclusive to Toys R Us, and in America, it's no problem at all, because I see everyone just tweeting, like, oh, here's pictures of stuff, but in the UK, it's like, when they never saw Banaphy in the UK. Like, that's one thing, like, I, I was searching every day, never had it, I'd drive 40 miles to pick up Celebi, um, now Celebi's really easy to get, but, yeah, um, Shaman, they released the last day of, uh, July, was Shaman July or was it June? Or August? No, yeah, it's July, because, uh, Arceus was uh, August. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a real pain in the butt to get all these, and then lucky, it stays in the, uh, the 12th of October, and Keldeo is in my store, which is great. Do not think it'll be that quick. You know, pick that bad boy, but shouldn't have gone for Ladias right now, just realised that. We're playing against a uh, Sylveon, but I think if we Mega Revolve and Psychic, we should beat it. Come on, there we go. Getting distracted by that uh, text message about Keldeo. Right, let's see what you got to say. Get off of me! <laughs> Never! <laughs> okay, uh, I need to heal up though. Can we like jump across this? Like, any? Oh, we can. Okay, okay. All right, let's quickly heal up. I could run back to the girl and heal up, but it's quite fast. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my uh, my revives so I can buy some more and my Moo milk because I can. Buy some more or max potions or whatever. I'm rich in this game. I'm rich, so I can buy all the stuff. It's not that way. We need to go. I'm trying to do this puzzle is not easy. Which one do we go from? Let's start from here. It's not that way. Potentially up from here. I dare you, 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 you come one step closer. Okay. I did. Now I'm gonna kick your butt for even suggesting you to dare me to come a step closer. But we should get level 60 Arcanine in this battle. We uh, can stay in. Get all those Pokemon so far, so good. One down, three more to go. Relic Camp. Oh, yeah, we can switch out. <laughs> We are not getting level 60 this uh, this battle, unless he has his last two Pokemon are pretty good. I mean, Sceptile can potentially get level 60. You live with 1 HP? I oh, know you're going to die by recoil, so it's fine. Or not. Okay, just don't die by recoil, that's fine. Rollicamp. Uh, Tanner might as well stay in, get Sceptile to 60. So close! One more Leaf Blade! Then he has one more Pokemon. 
and it's a Simi Sage. Go for a few slams. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. I'm gonna throw every single time I have a slam. Come on and miss, cause you like to miss slams, Governor, for some reason. All right, let's switch out on Arcanine. That little, little bit of XP we're gonna get is gonna get level 60, and then. We're not gonna get enough to get level 60 for Arcanine, but at least Septile gets 60. I did a lot of, oh yeah, did you go for Nasty Plot? That's I did a lot of damage from an Energy Ball. Definitely gets a Fire type, but. He did go for all oh, Rock Tomb? Ah, that's okay, that's fine. Did go for Nasty Plot, so that was kind of the reason why. This Flamethrower should take it out. Nice! Very good. Governor level 60. Now let's try and do this. I think we have to go. Oh, oh, we're doing it, we're doing it. Nope, not that way. Not that way. Has to be. Can we go. Wait, like that. Haha. -ha. Okay. We got this. Not that way, actually. We need to... Oh man, this puzzle's hard. No, we definitely have to go this way. Then we can go... We need to go onto there, but you can't get onto there unless we go like this. Aha! Oh, this puzzle is so difficult. Down. Like this, like that, like this, nope. Need to get, what do we need to get to? I need to get onto there. To get onto there we need to go down onto that. And then I need to get onto there. Aha, we're finally done. I can't believe it. How did they... I swear this mountain was not here before. And these odd colours. This is so weird. Do you have any idea what this might be? I have no idea. But the looks of it, it might come from another dimension. This is certainly something you won't find on your regular hiking trip. So how did it get here then? Did Team Lightning create this mountain? I have two theories. One is that this mountain has been teleported here. Don't know why and how, but hey, it's just a theory. Or either it has been created here. Let's find out what the mysterious mountain is. Holt! Where do you think you're going, idiotic teacher? Where my pupils are? Young trainer, help me out! Alright, let's take on Team Lightning! What have we got your Samurai. A lot of war Pokemon, I gotta keep switching out. Uh, let's go into Latias, because when you get Latias level 60, you can just Mega Evolve and Thunderbolt! And that should be level 59, easy. Critical hit, that is a... Thank you, appreciate that. Thunderbolt! Ah, you didn't die in one hit. That kind of sucks, but at least... Should be alright. Or not. <laughs> uh, let's go Silver. Silver can do this. Go for a nice uh, faint attack. Come on, be weak to darker eyes. Be weak to darker eyes. Breloom! Hey, that will kind of do. I mean, we, we're still at a disadvantage here, but we can... Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. <laughs> oh, damn. I thought maybe Ice Beam might do a little bit of damage and maybe we can finish it off in two Ice Beams, but Mark Punch is just gonna destroy us so bad. On the bright side, our can is get level 60. So can't complain about that. Hey, nice. Volcarona. Oh wait, if we get two Pokemon, okay. Volcarona, uh, let's go for Flamethrower again. Quiver Dance. Oh, this isn't going to get very scary. Uh, should be alright, extreme speed. Come 
on, live one more attack, Arcanine. Yes, eight HP left. Woo! Gotta love leftovers. Leftovers saves Arcanine so much. There we go. It's not possible that a child and a dumb teacher defeated us. I'm afraid it is. Come on, let's go inside. And we're gonna go inside next time. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we're gonna go inside this mysterious cave. Have a great day. Peace.